Okay, now we're going to look at adding data into Gretel Bayan. First thing we're going to do is clear the existing data set. Now, file new data set. We're going to have 18 observations initially. It's a time series data set. It's annual data. It starts in 1920. And that means it finishes in 1937. I'm going to start adding the data variables straight away. So here's Y. So now we'll add the data for Y. One observation at a time. Right, we've finished. Click the tick sign. Now we're going to add another variable. We're going to add the X1 variable. Exactly the same procedure, one observation at a time. Notice something I'm keep looking at the actual data I'm inputting and I'm noticing something's gone a bit awry there. So I'm going back to where I think the problem is, changing the problem. When you're inputting data by hand, you really do need to be glad between the data you're inputting and what's on the screen. Again, tick. Now we'll add another variable, which is guess what? X2. And again, input it one observation at a time by hand. Now close the box for the time being. Now let's go to edit attributes. Let's give it a better description than why. This is the Benjamin and Cockin data article we use in using Gretel. So first data set the, the independent the dependent variable is unemployment. Our first independent variable is weekly wages. Again, make sure you click tick each time, then go down arrow, and last but not least, weekly benefits. Tick. Okay. File, save the data, and like I say, this is the Benjamin and Cockin article, so I'm calling it Benj C O C H. Okay. Let's have a quick eyeball of everything, make sure everything is okay. So far, everything looks nice. Let's add an observation to each variable. Notice nothing appears to have happened then unless you look right at the bottom of the scheme screen where you notice it's now the annual full range is 1920 to 1938. So we're going to edit the data, add the 1938 observation. Tick, close window. Things to notice here, if you want to add another variable, the obvious way of doing it is not add. You need to go into edit values, click the plus sign there, and add the variable there. A bit confusing, I know, but that's the way it's done, I'm afraid. X3, click on OK. Because where the Y it is next to the Y, and now we're adding the NMP variable. In a minute, we'll give it a label, but let's just add it one observation at a time again.
like to say, every so often you do need to slow down and say, okay, is this going in all right? Especially when you're dealing with a variable like this where everything is four digits or when you've got that small places. Again, tick, close. Like I say, let's give it an attribute. Nice title. Title is going to be an MP in millions of pounds. Let's go back and make the P capital. Click on that, click on OK. Let's look at all our data together. Data. Notice, X2 hasn't got a bottom observation. Let's go in now and edit the values there. Try to put the bottom observation back in. Again, highlight it. Display values, still no bottom observation. What am I doing wrong? It's a really simple mistake. Put the data in, press enter. Now the tick appears and I can do it. I can now display the data and there all the data is. So there we are. We've added data to Gretel now by hand.